Hey guys, I'm Sam Chandler, the assistant sports editor here at Starnes Publishing with Kyle Parmley, our sports editor. And we're here to recap the 10th week of the high school football season. Kyle, you saw what you coined the game of the year on Friday night over at the Hoover Met. No other way to describe it. I mean, the anticipation for this Hoover Thompson game has been building for the last month and a half, um, you know, at least through the midway point of the regular season. Lived up to it. Over 10,000 people at the Hoover Met on Friday night. Uh, the Thompson side of the stadium is just packed over an hour and a half before kickoff. And when you usually get this much build up, the game is kind of kind of lets you down. But this game was amazing. And it lived up to the hype somehow. Um, it kind of started out a little crazy because Hoover comes out and they, they get the first punch. And it looked like they were establishing themselves as the much more physical team over Thompson. They jump out to a 13-3 lead. They're driving again in the second quarter, but a Hoover fumble, and Thompson takes over and the momentum begins to turn a little bit. Fast forward to the third quarter, Thompson scores 21 unanswered and takes a lead, but you know Hoover rallies. This game just back and forth. Um, and then in the fourth quarter, about midway through the fourth, Hoover punts the ball, downs it inside the two. You're thinking, all right, they've got the momentum now. But Thompson backs literally against the wall. They respond. The first play though, they come out, a little play action pass, Talia Tungavailoa hits Mo Edwards on a little play action deep ball, works to perfection, but it comes back. And they have to they have to do it again, but this time 14 plays, 98 yards, just marching down the field. Thompson scores, they go ahead for good. Um, they get the number one seed in, in Class 7A Region 3, and that's the that was the biggest thing from this game. But uh, man, just what a game, uh, these two teams deep playoff runs are certainly in the picture for both of them. Yeah, and one, one guy to spotlight from Hoover was running back Larry McCammon. He rushed for almost 170 yards and three touchdowns. Big game for him. Yeah, no doubt. They Hoover ran the ball really well. It just, uh, Thompson grabbed the momentum at the end when they had to have it. Uh, well, that was our first big 7A Region 3 game on Friday night. Uh, another one, not as high stakes, uh, but Spain Park hosted Oak Mountain, uh, and one team showed up at this game, and one team didn't. One team protected the football, one team didn't, uh, and it was Oak Mountain. Oak Mountain showed up, uh, forced five turnovers. Um, Zach Nelson, defensive back, three picks on the night, huge game for him. And it's really hard to win a game when you're turning it over five times for Spain Park. They lose 29-3. to uh, Big night for Connor Webb, Oak Mountain quarterback. Two touchdown passes to Carson Bobo, uh, who's continued his phenomenal campaign. Yeah, great win for Oak Mountain. Uh, another Region 3 game. Mountain Brook traveled to Huffman, and as has been the case, anybody that goes up to Huffman seems to struggle. Mountain Brook took that to a bit of an extreme on Friday night. They go down 19 to nothing less than five minutes into the game. They give up a fake punt touchdown, a 75-yard pass for a touchdown, and then a pick six, and they're down 19 nothing just like that. But they do settle into the game. They rally. They end up coming back, taking the 25-19 win. Uh, not very pretty, but at this stage of the season, a win's a win. Mountain Brook's the number three seed in the playoffs, and that's ultimately what matters at this point. That's right. Uh, in our final Region 3 game for 7A, uh, Vestavia Hills traveled to Tuscaloosa County. This one was all Rebels, 28-0. Third shutout of the year for that Vestavia Hills defense, which has played really well. Uh, Coleman Petway also had a pretty strong night at quarterback. Uh, two touchdown passes, a rushing touchdown. Really good win for them. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, moving back down to 6A, how about those Chelsea Hornets? Uh, after seven straight losses to start the year, they've battled back, they've kept fighting. They've won two in a row now. 24-17 win over Helena last week. Uh, they got down early 14-3, but uh, Coach Chris Elmore just keeps talking about their resilience. They showed it. They come back. Collier Blair scores a go-ahead touchdown in the third quarter. Chelsea hangs on for that win. Good for them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, business as usual for Homewood. Uh, Patriots take care of Huey Town 23-7. Pair of rushing touchdowns from David Robertson Jr., who's done a really good job stepping into that no lead doubt. back role after Nick McCoy went down. And the defense, stout, man. Uh, two fumble recoveries in the first half. Uh, special teams play, C.T. Daniels uh, blocked field goal. So the Patriots, are, they're rolling. Yeah, and the uh, final game, the Briarwood also stayed unbeaten just like Homewood. They beat Pleasant Grove 21 to 14, but after Briarwood got out to a 21 nothing lead, uh, they kind of, they didn't play very well in the second half. and. Uh, Coach Fred Yancey wasn't thrilled with that, neither were the players, uh, but good thing for them, they're 9-0, best start since 2007. They've locked up Region 5 in, in Class 5A, so they've got one more week in the regular season to, to improve a little bit. That's right, there is only one week left for the regular season for all of our teams. Hard to believe, 
Um, but that wraps it up for us for the 10th week. Thanks so much to Skin Wellness Center for sponsoring our coverage all season long. You can check them out online for more information. Thanks for watching.